Hi friends, have you ever wanted to paint a French door but felt uh, kind of uninspired because of all those window panes? I felt the same way. <laughs> I am in the middle of doing my entryway makeover and today I'm sharing an easier way to paint French doors black. I can't wait to share this product with you. Just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the So here's the entryway that I'm starting with. It is very small and it hasn't been updated in years. I wanted to give it a brand new fresh look painting the French door that leads into my office black. I really, really love the contrasted look. To choose the perfect black, I ended up applying four different shades of black onto a white piece of paper. I kind of logged it, lodged it into uh, the door jam here and I let it sit for a day and a half and just kept on peeking at it in the different light. My hands down winner was semi sweet, which is kind of a warm gray charcoal Coal, which appears very black on the door. I'm really glad that I did this though because it showed me what these paint colors look like in different times of day and some of them were just way too stark for my lighting. So if you have the opportunity to test little swatches before deciding what black paint to use, I highly recommend it. After I chose my paint color, I removed the knob from the door and then I started cleaning with Windex. Uh, inevitably you end up with dust on the window panes, the frames of the window panes and then of course there was smudge and dirt on the glass so I gave everything a really good cleaning. Now I did some research before painting my French doors and I came across a product called Masking Fluid. So I ordered it from Amazon and I'm so happy I did. Here I am unboxing it and it was not inexpensive. Uh, I'm in the greater Toronto area and I believe it was $74 for this quart. But as you'll see, it makes painting French doors super easy and a little does go a long way. To mask off the glass really quickly, I used a three inch foam brush. I mixed the masking fluid really, really well with a stir stick and then poured a small amount onto a paper plate. To brush it on the window panes, I dipped the foam brush and I made sure to get into all the crevices around the wood frame as you see me doing here. This was just to ensure that it was all covered. And I did read on the instructions that if it gets on the wood frame, it doesn't matter. You can paint right over it because it kind of acts like a primer. After I made sure all the corners and sides were all covered. I dip my brush again and give it a really good coat. I went ahead and repeated this process on all the window panes. Again, making sure that I get right into all the corners, make sure it goes right up to the edge, and then again, dipping the brush and making sure there's a really nice coat on each and every pane of glass. Here's what it looked like after about half an hour of applying it to all the glass panes. You can tell that part of it is dry and where you see the milky brush strokes is where it's still very, very wet. This product takes about 30 minutes to dry to the touch, but they do recommend waiting three to four hours before you start painting over it and then of course peel it away. So I wanted to do a comparison, masking fluid compared to uh, painter's tape. So what I started doing on the other side of the door is masking off the uh, French door panes with painter's tape. And I just cut a bunch of strips 
Then I applied all the shorter strips to the top and bottoms of the window panes. Then I went ahead, applied the longer strips to all the sides, and using a craft knife, I just went in and I cut anything that was overhanging just to get a really, really clean and precise masking on the glass panes. For the door hinges, I also used painter's tape to cover them up so I wouldn't get any paint on them. With everything masked off, it was time to paint. I used this four inch dollar store roller and I also used this angled brush to get right into the corners. I started painting all the wood frames with this angled brush. And again, it makes it very easy to get into all the nooks and crannies uh, because the, these, the frame does have a little bit of molding and shape to it. Uh, and I put on a half decent first coat First coat will never look good. <laughs> it's always a little scary when you start, um, but it was good that I had a good first coat coverage using this brush. Once all the frame detail was covered up by the brush, I took the roller and I started rolling on the paint in the larger parts of the area. I even use the tip of the roller to get into the crevices out as well, and it gives it a much smoother look. And here's a little hack when you're painting doors. If you don't wanna get any of the paint onto uh, the door frame around the door, cause here I'm doing my doors black, but the frame is going to be remaining white. I just used an eight by 10 sheet of paper and just made the paper follow it down. And as you can see, it protects and you don't get any of the black paint around the door frame. Super easy and you don't have to spend time masking anything off. So now for the fun part, removing all this masking to see what these black French doors look like. And I'm going to start off by what not to do. I was a little too hasty at trying to take the masking off. So I took my heat gun and I heated the masking tape up, but my paint was still so fresh. This was a bad idea. On top of that, I didn't score the masking tape around the edges. So when I started peeling off the masking tape, I ended up peeling off some of the fresh paint right along with it. And obviously this was a pain because I had to do some retouch. The correct way to do this is to take a utility knife, a craft knife, a box cutter, and just score around the perimeter of the frame so it loosens up the paint bond that was created when you painted over it, and then you can just peel the painter's tape right up. I used the exact same technique to peel off the masking liquid. Uh, I scored around the frame using my craft knife and then I peeled back a tiny bit of a corner using the craft knife as well. And then it peels off like a saran wrap or plastic wrap. It is so neat and it works really, really well. I went ahead and repeated this process on each and every pane. What I will say is the masking fluid, although it was uh, a little costly, it's very easy to use. It's, it's less time consuming than actually using the painter's tape. That said, uh, if you're looking for a cheaper, more economical way to paint a French door, the painter's tape works just fine. You just have to put in the extra time of cutting the strips, masking it off, and making sure that you cut away any excess to get a nice clean look. So I would say both ways work very well. Um, it's just one is a little faster than the other. So here's the before. 
And here's the after. We ended up adding new knobs, which gave these doors a more modern look. And I have to say, I am loving the contrast between the black and the white. And I can't wait to finish off my hallway entry and share it with you guys as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if so, please give it a like and comment underneath of what you think of these black French doors. I would love to hear. You can also find me on all my socials and over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Until next time, have a fabulous week and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.